Hello, class. Yeah, I thought I'd wear a suit so I'd seem more professor-like. Anyways, I'm going to show you how to use your rock band or Guitar Hero drums or guitar or whatever else came with it as a MIDI controller on your computer. So let's do that. Step one, go to this website, download the stuff it tells you to download. I'd walk you through it, but they do it far better than I ever could. Step two, open up the program. I know, you didn't see this step coming. If you want to go into more detail after you select your controllers, which you have to do first, which I should have said first, but if you want to go into more detail afterwards, then you can, you know, select different notes to be hit for different pads. That is, if you're using a drum, if you're using, a, you know, a guitar, different buttons, etc. Why, why you gotta hassle me? Just, just go with it, okay? God. Making things complicated. Anyways, step three. Open up your music program, and yeah, that's pretty much it. If you're using GarageBand, I don't know about other programs because I don't have them because I don't have money. But if you're using GarageBand, you're gonna be needing to work on a MIDI track, which it's already there when you open a new file, so there you go. That's it. End lesson, I guess. That was even shorter than I thought it would be. There's a link to the website in the pants bar. So I'm going to show you a demonstration. Although I don't really need to because if you've been watching this channel, as you should be, then you would have already seen me use them. But here we go. Freestyle drums. Whoosh. I don't whip. Also, in the MIDI Tar Hero program, make sure you click that little gray circle next to your instrument and that you set the MIDI output for from max runtime. Otherwise, it won't play. Now, here's me playing with just the basic pop kit drums and garage band drawn out words. Jen, look at your wand. Now back at me. Now back at your wand. Now back at my wizard stick. Which is actually a tree branch. That's just, I found outside. I'm gonna use it for something else, and I was like, ah, guess I won't use it for this. But you know what? It would make a good wizard stick. I'm gone! As someone who missed Harry Potter when it was first coming out and didn't get into it until like after the last book, it makes me kind of sad whenever I hear people talking about. Nostalgic about it. Maureen! Avatar. Avatar, Avatar, Avatar. Actually, not Avatar. Last year, Bender. They changed it. It was not a good movie. It was, it was a bad movie. Some would say it was a horrible movie. Some would say that in all caps. I'm not going to disagree with them for doing so. And people did make a fuss over the casting decisions for this movie. But you know what? The actors are irrelevant. They, they really practically had nothing to do with this movie. They had nothing to do in the movie. They couldn't do anything for it, and they couldn't do anything about it to make it better. Really, I don't blame them in any way. They did the best with what they had. Which wasn't much, considering they condensed down the entire season of a TV series into a, like, two-hour movie. Not even two, an hour and a half? When it comes down to it, I think the only way this movie could have really been good is if they did it like a book-to-movie port and just rewrote it, retold it. It wasn't so much a straight condense. And it was more a retelling. That would have been good. But what they did, that wasn't good. Brian! Yeah, that's, that's a ridiculous voice. I'm not doing that. Brian! I hope you had a moist birthday. I, I still don't understand why you wanted me to say moist. Question Tuesday question. If you could save the human race from being destroyed, would you and why? I would save the human race. See, look at it this way. You have a pile. For all the good of humanity, humans, we have a pile for all the bad. Now this bad pile is just like epic, over 9,000 Chuck Norris huge and bad, which is why it's a bad pile. But then you have this good pile, and this good pile, it's debatable how big this good pile is. You know, look at that bad pile, so much bad happening. But it's, it's good, and you can't just stop. Good. 
You know, you can't let Voldemort stop the rock. I mean, sure, we're the worst thing that has ever been upon this planet, but we're getting better. Slowly. Very slowly. But better. So I'm willing to give us a chance of fighting through our seemingly endless amount of stupidity in hopes that one day, one day, we won't suck so much. Although, you know, by then the sun will have probably burned out or something. Also, if we were gone, there'd be no more pizza. Why would you want a world without pizza?